everybody, Papa Rome's here. Today I'm gonna to be doing a challenge between two great X companies. We have Helco Work, the classic model from Germany versus the Fiska from, I believe, Finland. I used both of them already, as you can tell, they are not in brand new shape. Lengthwise, they're very similar in length. They're almost identical. They're literally same length, so nice. When you pick a uh, bushcrafting axe, you want it to be from your armpit to your hand here. So they're both a good length. And uh, I'm gonna be bringing to you the challenge, decide which one you believe is better. Stay tuned and I'll show you. So that was the one we felt a couple weeks ago in the blizzard. And right next to it, here's the other one. They're both dead. And they are almost matching size and height so they're both completely dead they're pretty tall they're like 40 footers this tree is crooked it wants to go at the base here and then that way so right here right here And that's how you do it, folks. <laughs> okay, so this is a tree, and it is large, but it's dead. So I'm gonna cut it. Whoa! Ground screws, I'm gonna fell it right into that hole, if I can. Timber. <laughs> We're at the end of this challenge here. I hope you enjoyed that, being able to fell two trees on video for you guys just to do a review. It's pretty cool. I, My personal comment here, they're both diameter equal. They gotta be 
16 to 18 inch diameter. They have a solid inner core. Outer is a bit rotted. They're both equal in length, just about. They're a good size tree to do a review on. And I tried to give you an honest impression of what I believe. The Fisca here is a phenomenal ax, has a razor sharp edge. This edge is, it blew my mind actually. You could use it for even hunting and skinning. Phenomenal edge. Lightweight, but heavier than the Helco work, classic. It's got uh, the plastic here, and I find the plastic is okay, the synthetic, but I've heard stories about them cracking. I'm kind of curious what you guys think. If you have comments that you can leave about that, I'm curious because uh, I've heard some stories that they hit hammers through personal friends. They hit like stakes with the hammer end and they shattered it. That's not good if you're out in the woods. It's a real big issue. So leave comments if you have any on either one. I'd love to hear them. But the Helco, the classic here, felt amazing. It felt like a Rolls Royce in my hand. Lightweight, lighter than this by maybe a half a pound, which for felling trees isn't good. You want a heavier axe. Maybe that's why this felt like it dug a little better. But you know what? This really competed just the same. But it, it was so smooth coming through my hand. This is more straight. This is more curved to your body. The hook on the, the Fisca grabbed my palm better than this did, but I never needed it. This never felt like it was flying out of my hand and neither did this, but when I was tired and wanted to let go a bit, that was me, not the ax. But it has a more pronounced hook, so it grabs on better. Terminology might not be correct. I'm not a lumberjack, eh? <laughs> also, um, the nickel plate here is, the coating is good because it slides in, but this has a coating finish also, almost like a powder coat, and that felt really good as well. Weight-wise, this is gonna be a half a pound heavier, maybe a pound heavier, or somewhere in there. So for bushcrafting, if you're hiking, backpacking, you might wanna go with this one here, the classic. And that's why I went with it, because I wanna take it on camping trips. I didn't wanna bring a hatchet, because I already have a good bush knife, bush crafting knife, which will do a hatchet's job. But I wanted something to do larger jobs if I needed to build a larger uh, structure or whatever I needed. I prefer to have it a little bigger. This fits in my pack, it sticks up a little bit, but it's perfect size. Um, came with a leather sheath, this came with a plastic sheath. They're both working well. And um, this has the lanyard handle, this doesn't. Now lanyard is good, but for me, I prefer on an ax not to have a lanyard because my hand is constant in motion. So if you have a lanyard, you're gonna be stuck to the end and that's it. But I wanna be able to slide both hands up, down, up, down, up, down. And that's why I prefer this over that. If you don't want to break the budget, this was $57, I believe. This was 100 and maybe 50 to 170, somewhere in there, I don't recall. If you have the money to spend, this obviously might be something you want. It's very good quality. It's American made hickory handle. I enjoy that. I enjoy knowing it's made in America, but the head is made in Germany. This is um, made in Finland, which I'm actually pro with too. That's a really good place to have good products. So I'm not against either of these. I believe they're both good. I own both, therefore I'm happy with either. I could take them both with me. I split a lot of wood with this at home. This one I save more just to have uh, when I go on trips. And um, yeah, that's, that's it guys. I hope you enjoy it. This was uh, just a straight up review. And I want you guys to tell me what you think on this challenge. If you like what you saw, you can subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'll put out different bushcraft survival pictures up there, along with my videos on my YouTube channel. And uh, let me know your comments out there. I want to hear what your thoughts are on these axes. Maybe you've had them that they shattered. I've heard stories that the wooden handles break. Um, I've never personally had that happen, but they do break, apparently. I've had stories, like I said, that the plastic here shattered and that came flying out. If you have any of these stories, let us know. Or if you have any tips on different axes, maybe I could do a better review with or a new review, let me know that too. Maybe there's a different axe out there or a bushcrafting axe or something else that you would like to see. I could maybe check it out. So um, appreciate you guys watching and uh, thanks for following.